Yo, what's going on everybody? So today I wanna to have a conversation with you guys about a topic that hands down excites me more than anything that's happened in Boruto, either the anime or in the manga. This is a Boruto Naruto Next Generations discussion that I think so many people are gonna be excited about, which is Boruto going to the Hidden Cloud Village and going into the Lane of Lightning. And it's something that I, I hands down think that this would give the anime a huge shot in the arm when it comes to generating more excitement. I mean, the anime is still doing good, don't get me wrong, but I think that this could be something that gives a huge shot when it comes to viewership and getting some of the older Naruto fans to tune back into the series. Now, with that being said, I do, for whatever reason, need to say there's no spoiler in this video. I've had, in the last few videos, I've had people saying, spoiler, 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 and I'm like, dude, did you even watch the video? I didn't spoil anything. Like, what's what's going on here? So, with that being said, obviously this is gonna be safe for anime-only viewers. So, when it comes to what the Boruto series is doing, they're actually incorporating different things that Naruto series creator Masashi Kishimoto had originally wanted to do with the Naruto manga. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, when Kishimoto was doing Naruto, his original plan was to have Naruto and Team 7 go to all the different ninja villages and make rivals in each of the villages and explore all the countries where the hidden villages were in and instead what we ended up getting was the tuning exams because tournament arcs are really really popular when it comes to shonen and in particular when it comes to shonen jump that was something that really really got pushed on the kishimoto and in the end i mean the tuning exams while some people say that it's a huge ripoff of the hunter exams from hunter hunter and don't be wrong there are a lot there are a lot of lot of similarities there like if you're a fan of either series, you can acknowledge that. But taking all that out of the equation, while we did get an awesome arc, I do think that Kishimoto was on to something by having Naruto explore all these different villages. And so when you look at what the Boruto series has done, the Boruto series has had Boruto doing that. We had it with the Hidden Mist field trip arc where Boruto and his classmates go into the Hidden Mist village and they learn about how things used to be in that village. But we also see the culture of the Hidden Mist village. We see some of the dynamics between the few Lord and the Kage there. We see how much has changed. We see the interaction. We get to see it from the perspective of people who've only been inside of Konoha. And it's something that I really, I really enjoyed. I know that art gets a lot of crap, but I really enjoyed what we got there because we were getting some expanded world building. And when you look at what happened with the uh, Miski retrieval arc, I believe it was the Miski uh, desertion arc is what it's called uh, officially. When you look at that, you had Boruto going into the hidden uh, stone village and you had Boruto going in and interacting with Inoki and you see more of the relationship with the Kage there and how that village has changed. You get more of the history of the village. You see more of the interactions, how Konoha Ninja are different from Hidden Stone Village Ninja. It's something that I really enjoyed. It's something I enjoyed. And, and what you see in each arc is that in the Mist arc and now the Stone arc, you have these moments where you see that each of these countries, each of these villages, despite the fact that we're in a time of peace, they have their own issues that they're working with. And I, it's something I enjoy. And when you look at the whole concept of Boruto going to the uh, Hidden Cloud Village, they've been building this up for a while. And you're like, wait, 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 what are you talking about? What do you mean they've been building it up? So when you go back to an episode that features Chocho, which I know somebody's like, Chocho, Chocho, you know, insert the Soldier Boy meme. I might make a Soldier Boy meme and just stick it up for you guys to see that. But I mean, like, somebody's gonna bring up Chocho and say, I absolutely hate her. But when you look at the episode where she's taking Sarda around and I believe they're looking for some type of potato chips that are only from the uh, Hidden Cloud Village and we find out that Karui, the uh, mother of uh, Chocho, and the wife of Choji goes to the shop and we find out that inside of Konoha you have different foods from different villages that are brought in because there's so many trans migrants. That's something that is really, really cool but it's also something that set up a bit of foreshadowing because we can have a scenario where they go to the Hidden Cloud Village and if this happens you're going to bring in some of the older Naruto fans because a lot of people like A, right? So the former Raikage. A lot of people like A but a lot of people love Killer B. Like a lot of people love Killer 
Killer B. And it'd be really cool to have Killer B spouting off all these raps and you have Boruto just trash this dude, just roast him because the raps are garbage. And you see Killer B and Boruto interacting or the kid that does the bubble gum. It'd be really cool to get some confirmation as to if he's actually Killer B's son because when you look at it, he's got the ox pendant and a lot of people are pointing out that he shares some design uh, similarities with Samui and that's the really, really big breasted chick that came from the uh, Hidden Cloud Village that came after the pain arc and was like the squad leader for uh, Darwi and for uh, Kari. So it'd be something that'd be really cool if we got some confirmation as to whether or not Killer B and Samui just kind of hooked up and that's actually their kid. That'd be cool to get that. But also, you know, if you read the Sakura Heaton novel, then you know how Karui and Chocho got together. It'd be really cool if we saw how people in the Cloud Village reacted to that. And we see Chocho meeting different people from her extended family over there. And you see where Boruto and Sarda and everybody kind of fit in. It'd be something really cool. It'd be really cool to actually see the fourth Raikage actually speaking with the daughter of Sasuke Uchiha. And Sarda learns maybe for the first time, the fact that Sasuke was in the Akatsuki and learns how far Sasuke fell. It'd be something really, really cool, but most importantly, and this is probably gonna be like the big selling point for this video, right? Most importantly, what are Hidden Cloud Village known for? They're known for their lightning release jutsu. Now I know somebody's gonna see where I'm going with this, right? So they're known for their lightning release jutsu and each member of Team 7, so Mitsuki and Sarda and Boruto, they all have lightning based jutsu, but Boruto has a natural affinity for lightning style chakra, lightning style based attacks. And Sasuke said, hey, before you start learning other jutsu, you really need to learn the basics of lightning style jutsu and lightning style chakra before you take on more advanced stuff. What if while Boruto is on this arc where he's in the hidden, uh, the hidden cloud village, where you have that moment where Boruto's learning under the fourth Raikage in a similar way he learned under Anoiki for a brief period of time. What if you have that moment where Boruto's learning some lightning style jutsu, he's learning under Killer B in the same way that Naruto's learning. It'd be something really, really cool. And I think we could start seeing the steps. I think we can start seeing the steps of the fact that Boruto is starting to master that lightning style chakra and become that capable ninja, that capable shinobi that Sasuke knows him to be. And on a side note, you know, I know that in the Boruto manga, Boruto has the thunderclap jutsu, which is something really, really cool. And Boruto has another jutsu that he's able to perform this anime only that he used during the tuning exams. Whereas in the Boruto to a movie he actually used a ninja tool for lightning release in the anime he did his own lightning style attack it'd be really cool if we see Boruto learn more lightning style jutsu in the hidden cloud village but i want to know what you guys think if we had a hidden cloud village arc what do you guys personally want to see from it tell me your three things you want to see most in a hidden cloud village arc but as always guys if you like anything i had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe share thank you so much for watching all the way into the end have an incredible day guys.